And hello there you guys and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if it's your first time here My name is Animal Introvert and I know it's been a while but this is our subscriber special Now I know at this point we're past 80 at the time of editing this So I don't know whether or not to make it a 50 or a 75 subscriber special I guess I'll put it as the 50 But anyway this video is going to be a lot of talking So let's get into it right after the intro Man, it feels good to hear that intro again. It's been quite a long time. Now, these here clips are from the aquarium, the zoo, and other such places because that's where I went over this past weekend. Uh, those there are ocelotls. Uh, you all may or may not know how much I really want to get a couple of these. But as I said in the beginning, this video is going to be a lot of talking. FTBs, another thing I want, or FBTs, sorry. Sorry about the toads. I really want some of those as well. But, yeah. I know it's been quite a while and that we're way past 50 subs at this point. But I wanted to make this video because I promised it for you guys. And, yeah. So, yeah. And it feels really good to get here. And I think the reason why I've gotten here is because of the advent of YouTube Shorts. Which has really helped boost my channel along as I don't make long form content that often. Shorts has just been a way for me to make content at least like once a week. And I think that's really helped me out as a creator. And I don't think that YouTube's getting rid of it anytime soon either. So yeah. So this channel has been in its founding stage for the past two, three years that it's been running. And I think that might finally be starting to change. I think channels really get into their growth period between 100 and 1,000 subscribers. I think that's when channels really start to see a lot of their rapid growth start. And we've been below 100 subscribers. We still are at the making of this video. We are still below 100 subscribers. And I think that once we hit that with the advent of YouTube Shorts, that we're just going to skyrocket. Although this, that's what I really hope is going to happen. Honestly, I think I can make the analogy that YouTube channels are a lot like ant colonies in this one way. Many YouTube channels will go through two, maybe three phases. Most channels will go through three phases, some only two. Um, and ants, all ants go through three phases as well, at the very least. And those are the founding stage, the ergonomic stage, and of course, the reproductive stage. So what do the phases mean? Well, first I'll give you some time scale. Basically the founding stage is when the YouTube channel gets started up to at most probably like around a thousand subscribers. Next you have your ergonomic stage, which is from at least 100 subscribers up until however many subscribers you're ever going to gain. Until stage three, the reproductive phase, which is where channels start making secondary channels and tertiary channels and quartiary channels and all those other numbers. When YouTube channels start making offshoots. Multiple channels, multiple big popular channels do this. Whether that be for a different type of content, a different language, even to feature other creators. I think what we are in right now, obviously, is our founding stage. And that is the stage from when the YouTube channel is started, or again, using my ant analogy, when the ant queen digs her, f her claustral cell and lays her first eggs, gets her first, when, when I get, when a YouTube channel gets the first subscribers, up until they have a foothold. A lot of channels and a lot of ant colonies die during the founding stage because it's the toughest time. It's when there's low numbers for the home team and everybody else has got all the numbers. 
It's you against literally the world. Now, I'm going to use the analogy of the Argentine ant. As you know, as you may or may not know, the Argentine ant start originally came from the Amazon basin, the Amazon river basin, where it had constant competition from all sides. And that's kind of like what YouTube is like, or what YouTube was like, I'll get to that in a moment. YouTube is a battleground between creators vying for subscribers. The, the Amazon River Basin was ant colonies vying for space and resources. And then you have the little Argentine ant. Nothing special about them. They're small. Their only weapon really is their numbers, which weren't even that impressive in the basin. Until they made it to the United States and to Europe and to Asia and to Africa. We'll get to that in a minute. Once again, and to Australia. But once they started spreading worldwide, then they really started growing. And I'll give that a comparison in just a minute. So now, right, you have your little ant colony. Nothing special about it. Once it gets a foothold, once it gains, once a YouTube channel gains a solid foundation, finds out what their content's gonna be, who their target audience is gonna be, then they start to grow. Then they hit their ergonomic stage, something clicks, and they shoot off exponentially. You can see it if you see like the, the videos where it's like this channel versus this channel, and the one channel's growing steadily, and the other one just shoots right past them incredibly quickly. And they both eventually level out. Kind of get neck and neck. And so, that ergonomic stage, once an ant colony hits that, it's, it's mostly uphill. Unless there's something disastrous happens. Fungal or bacterial outbreak, anteater, pangolin, human intervention. Whatever you want to call it, that destroys them. Now on YouTube, that can be getting canceled or getting demonetized. It really just, it can be anything really. Now, we have yet to hit our ergonomic stage, but I really hope it's coming up soon because like the Argentine ant got transported on accident on a couple of cargo ships to a cup to just to a new continent they were wired their instincts were wired to be competitive and then they ended up in a world with no competition on YouTube not necessarily the exact same thing but shorts with the advent of shorts creators could make videos every single day really short videos really pump them out put have to put very little effort in and still get good content for cheaps and they could just put stuff out there rapidly and they massive expansion and I think that's why we this channel grew so fast it's crazy the Argentina eventually created super colonies and that's the third stage the reproductive stage which is where an ant colony will send off offshoots now in a normal ant colony the nuptial flights happen new colonies are founded maybe that happens sometimes but normally it's like the Argentina ant, where they send out a queen but they still remain in contact and it's just a satellite nest. And they still have to go through all the previous phases, but with an immense amount of help and support from the mother colony. And that is how the ant colonies grow. And that's how YouTube channels, I think, grow. Because you got this one really popular channel, like, okay, this is really great, but can we get more people? And they create a secondary channel and they just create more channels to get more people and they keep the channel separate they keep 
separate types of content away from each other so that they can grow their audience. And they can say, hey, I know I have this, but if you want to, you can go check out this as well. This is pretty cool. Check out my other stuff. And so that is how I compare the phases of a YouTube channel growing to the phases of a growing ant colony. But now let's talk about how we have gotten through our own YouTube channel's founding phase. This channel has been in its founding stage for the past, well, two to three years. And it's been great, but it's been very slow. In the very beginning, my first video, welcome to the channel, what's happening on the, what's happening here? I'm about to tell you. Next one I made a week later, that was the last time that that happened. With long form content. That was the last time I uploaded a video within the week of another, in the, a week after the previous video. At that point, the issue was not editing because I didn't know how to yet. I would record and then I would just upload it. But the problem was not filming, it was just not the ideas. The problem was well, firstly, I couldn't edit. I had to get the perfect shot. It took multiple tries, but that all happened within a day. The real issue came when I was trying to upload, because because then I was I was uploading to YouTube, right? And I had to do it on Wi-Fi, and it took so long. So eventually, I. My parents said, no, you know what? You're bogging down everything. You can't even watch Netflix while you're doing that. Do it on data. Okay, I started doing it on data. I'm still going just as slow, but I could do it all the time now. Then I posted the video. I got editing, so I finally got editing software. I, can f I finally know how to edit. And I started editing. And then my problem was not the upload speed, but that was still a problem. But I no longer had the problem of getting the perfect shot because I could just retake it again. My problem was now getting was now procrastination of the of editing. The, pro, the procrastination of editing was my problem. But then once I got it edited and saved, I could upload it pretty quickly. And that's been my problem like this whole time. So I really hope in the future, I can not do that. Thank you all so much for watching. I know that this video was a lot of talking and not a lot of anything else. I hope you all enjoyed the clips in the background and the music I was playing as well. Uh, if you enjoyed, please like the video to show your support and subscribe. Here's some cute cuttlefish in the background as I close this out here. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, I really do hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you did. And I'll try to get the next couple videos out fairly quickly. Again, I still have to transfer stuff from one phone to another. But please hit the bell if possible and share this videos with your friends, enemies, and frenemies. And I'll out. Yeah. 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 Yeah.